down in the comfort of their cozy neighborhood bar. Patrons freezing with beers in hand once they saw this guy. That's a creepy clown. He's in the mask, pacing and staring at them. 10 News reporter John Horn shows how business owners came together to keep him from getting inside. One hop, just take those, you're all set. Jacob Nico, we have shrimp, I think, going. Stood behind the bar and took a double take. But he was like looking in the mirror and just like looking through, looking all like, very just tripping out. He couldn't believe what was staring back at him. It was a man in this scary clown mask leering in at people just trying to enjoy a beer on a Sunday night. A couple patrons came up to me and said, this guy's creeping us out. We need you guys to get rid of him. So we kind of went outside and talked to him and see if he could leave. The man tried to get into businesses up and down Park Boulevard, briefly getting inside one restaurant. Business owners confronted the man who witnesses say became upset, yelling he isn't doing anything wrong. It got really weird when he started running into other different businesses up and down the street. They chased him off the street together. Police arrived 10 minutes later, but didn't arrest the man. Yeah, when I saw him talking to the police, he didn't have the mask on anymore. But he definitely had it on when he was looking in the windows and creeping on our female clients. Still, the creepy clown's appearance has left the entire block shaken. It's a phenomenon that's put the nation and San Diego on alert. Earlier this month, police monitoring schools in La Jolla and El Cajon after clown sightings. Yeah, I guess so. I guess we have to have a clown watch here. Now back behind the bar, Nikos hopes the only creepy clown sightings at Small Bar are those in the Halloween decorations all over the walls. John Horn, 10 News. A San Diego 